professional Williamson. And I have taught the advanced math courses here at Cosby High School for the last 13 years. So when Mr. O'Neill came to me and told me he wanted to speak, I started to plan my advanced count three final for you. But uh, and I said, no, that's not what he wanted. So then I thought, well, I know all the skill about the new calls being community service hours. And he said, no, I gave that to Sean. <laughs> then he tells me I have to do the serious speech about the history. Now, my students will tell you my lessons are short and sweet, so here it goes. <laughs> In 1911, Dr. A. Brown of Asheville, Secretary of the Mountain Mission Work, appeared before the East Tennessee Baptist Association and told them he liked to see the association have a school. The citizens of Cosby were thrilled at the idea of having a chance for higher education. They quickly began to organize the effort. Reverend Will Weaver rode his horse throughout Clark County, raising money to build Cosby Baptist Academy. <laughs> and in September of 1913, the community members pledged various amounts of money, ranging from a dollar to a hundred dollars. J.W. Paget, John Linton Schultz, and Harrison Schultz each deeded land for the new school's location. In less than a year, the first buildings were completed and the classes began in the fall of 1914. Cosby Baptist Academy attracted students with its emphasis on academics and a $100 per year tuition. The new school board offered advanced classes such as Latin, biology, music, theology, and of course my favorite, algebra. The first graduating class at Cosby consisted of three female students, Myrtle Schultz Prophet, Bessie Kiper Williams, and Scotty Harrison. Cosby Academy's reputation as one of the finest schools in the area grew rapidly. The school could not compete with the effects of the Great Depression. In 1934, it was the beginning to have economic troubles and the rumors of its closing were spreading. The Cock County School Board bought Cosby Baptist Academy for $4,500, the current amount of the school's debt. The East Tennessee Baptist Association agreed to this price even though the school was worth $25,000 because they wanted the property to remain a school and the efforts put forth by the community for a higher education. Cosby Baptist Academy was now known as Cosby School. Cosby has experienced many different changes throughout the years, ranging from our colors, green and white to blue and white, mascots from mountaineers to eagles, and one of our latest, changing from a K-12 to a separate elementary and high school. As a third generation alumni, my grandfather Neil Schultz graduating in 33, my father Bob Schultz graduating in 57, myself in 87. As a parent, I have three daughters here at Cosby, one who is a senior, 